So I've played around with my data, manipulated it, done some summary stats, etc., and uh, have it in a place that I'm ready to start to visualize it. I'm going to do a couple quick steps. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that data, if, if I've done any changes, any manipulations, into um, a, a clean data sheet right here. So this worksheet, in this case in Excel, um, is nice and clean. There's no headers here. There's nothing to cause any problems. I simply have the variable names starting in cell A1. The variable names going across and then the variables um, arrayed in each row uh, below that. Uh, so I've saved this as a separate file. Now I can go over to Plotly. In this case, I'm going to demonstrate with Plotly, but again, you can use whatever robust graphing tool you'd like. I'm going to jump over to Plotly. Once I'm in my Plotly and I've logged in, I'm going to come up and hit Create. I'm going to do Create Chart. And I'll see that I have some data space up here and some graphical space right here. So now I'm going to come here and import my data. And now my data is right here. So we'll see it right here. I have my year, in this case, year, deaths, total deaths, and the amount of da damages. Um, I transform my dollars into the actual dollar values um, rather than some uh, 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 form of thousands or, or, or whatever. Okay, so here's my data in here. Now all I need to do, there's, there's all kinds of great things you can do, but we'll just show a real simple example. I want to show this over time. So I want to do trace. I could do scatter, I could do a lot of things. Why don't we try a line graph, okay? And then I'm gonna say my X variable is gonna be my year. So I'm gonna pull this down, say year. And I'm gonna say, let's do deaths first, let's say. So I'll say deaths, boom. And there we go. Uh, now I can start to do all kinds of great manipulations. I can do smoothing functions and, and change the thicknesses of my lines, uh, et cetera. Um, if I want things to be a little thicker or a little clearer or something of that nature. Uh, I can uh, change the names of my, my variables. Now I, I don't need to probably label the year here because it's, it's pretty obvious that this is year. But in this case, what's this? I don't know. So let's go ahead and, and label this as deaths. Right? Okay. Um, and then this is, this is um, I'll start off with, with an initial title. I'll probably want to change this and make it more descriptive once I finish my data exploration, but something like Asian or, or uh, consequences of disasters in Asia since 1900, something of that nature, right? Um, and, and so, so there we go. I, I can start to overlay uh, data. I can uh, overlay different types of data, etc. When I'm done, I want to hit save, save my um, figure as, uh, and because of the, the limitations of the free, um, the free account, you have to save this public. Just say save that. Oh, I should, I could have named it something. Uh, now it just says unnamed plot, but I can go back and rename it. But then after I've done that, I can come up here and do export. I can do image export. I can pick what I would like. So I can do a PNG. Uh, generally, I'd probably make it about two times just so I get a slightly higher resolution, a slightly higher quality image, but I could also uh, export it as a PDF, SVG, or EPS and just hit download and I would have that image and I could then insert that image into um, a document that I could merge with other figures that I wanted to submit for an assignment in this class. So Plotly is a very powerful, very manipulable um, tool. It's a graphic user interface, so you don't need to do command line if you don't want to. And uh, it's just a useful tool and a great way to start to show these patterns that we're finding in the data.